Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to another vlog. Um, today, today's vlog is different for a few reasons. Number one, I'm still not sure I'm gonna leave the house. I'll show you why in a second. Number two, on a side note, the Amazon delivery guy just drove by and did not stop here. What the heck? What's that? I forget where I was going with that. Anyway, the moral of the story is it snowed last night and the wind's blowing and it's cold. And I haven't decided if I want to go to the salon. But... The whole point to this vlog today was, I just wanted to talk about a couple of things. I wanted to show you a couple of things. Um, I wanted to talk about cuticle oil and why exactly we should be upselling it to our clients right now, especially right now. Um, however, it's always very important. But I think sometimes clients, don't understand why we are trying to upsell. Uh, maybe they think it's for profit or what have you. Um, these aren't the words I'm looking for, hold on. I'm only halfway through my coffee, but I really just wanted to start this. And I, But anyway, I do think that my dog's rolling her eyes at me. I do think that clients sometimes think that, and, and I mean clients, hair clients, nail clients, even facial clients, sometimes think that you're trying to upsell product to them simply for the profit. However, you know, big secret out of the bag, a lot of times we're not actually making very much profit off of these products. But anyway, regardless, if you're a client or if you are a nail tech or an esthetician, I really want to talk about why we need cuticle oil right now because we need it more than we've ever needed it before. And I wanted to talk about some of the things that are, are happening, uh, some of the reasons why things are happening the way they're happening. I'm seeing nail techs post on some of the forums that I follow and they're actually doubting themselves because of things that are happening to their clients' nails. And it's not their fault, it's not them. Um, it's the situation right now and the hand sanitizers and so on. Anyway, I do want to get into more of that later. I also, I also want to get into more of my swatch, no, not swatch dick. Um, hold on. Okay, so I got these, hopefully you can see them to go on the tops of my bottles because I don't like that little ring that you can put on them. Sorry, I keep looking at the wrong spot because this is my phone. Um, I don't like the little rings you put on them because I just don't like that look like up on my wall. I really just, I just don't love that look. And so I got these. So I don't know if any of you guys have used them and they have like little sticky dots uh, or what you felt about them or how well they worked. But I am going to try them. I don't know how many is in this package. It doesn't look like very many, but I'm going to have to check that and see how many I did order. Uh, what else? Oh, I want to keep working on my little office room where I ship practice hands out of. I got a new shelf that I want to paint and put in there to put a little bit of my packing supplies on. Things are getting a little like disorganized right now, but I still don't exactly know how I want it to look, so I've kind of just left it alone. And I don't have any makeup on. Um, I feel like I'm looking a little bit tanned. I got some of the um, tanning waters from Sephora. I've always used the Eco Tan Tanning Water Spray. Um, I'm on my phone and it's ringing. It's weird. Okay, I'm off the phone now. I did want to show you before I forget. This is the tanning water I got. And it's not working terrible. Not sponsored. Um, okay, let's take a look at... So, this is a little shelf that I'm going to paint. Hmm, my setup is still a bit... <clears throat> I just don't love it, but I'm gonna love it and it's gonna be fine. But I wanna show you what it's doing outside. Oh, let's look at the back door. Oh. <laughs> okay, look at this. I hope.
hope that came through for you. It's like snowing and blowing and being all sassy out there. So I have to clean off my vehicle. You can't really see it. I'm just wasting time now. I'm gonna finish drinking my coffee, which is massive. I can hardly lift it with one hand. And then I'm just gonna get it done. I'm just gonna go do it. Hey guys, okay, I'm back, I made it here. I'm just kind of cleaning up my room and cleaning up my mess. Um, I had to send a couple of emails, so that's done. But as promised, I brought these. Let's get the noise over with. I brought these doohickeys in. I don't know what they're, I don't know what they're called. Okay. So, in my last clip, or one of my last clips, I said I didn't think there was like 120 in here. I think I looked, and it said that it was 120 pieces. But I got thinking about it, and I'm wondering if it's not 60 tabs and 60 stickers, because Amazon is sly. So, one, two, three, four, five. 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's definitely not 120, there's actually 96. Way to go Amazon. So I'm probably going to order more of them because I don't even know how many glitter bells polishes I have. I really don't, I haven't counted them. I do have a list, but I didn't number it, so I really don't know how many I have. But I am going to start just at the beginning, like I'm not taking any one in particular, but I'm just gonna start taking colors down. I'm going to, for the time being anyway, polish them right on here and then top coat them because that's very important because you're going to be able to touch them, they're not covered. I'm going to use the Glitter Bells No Wipe Top Coat. Um, however, that being said, I do have a No Wipe Top Coat that I don't think I'm gonna use anymore, like I'm just trying to use up. So I am going to use that first because there's nothing any worse than like wasting really good product on swatches. I feel like it's a waste. Some people don't agree. I feel like it's a waste. Uh, so I'm going to start that. It doesn't seem like that big of a project, but I might change my mind. I'm also going to spin things around here on my desk. I'm gonna take my, oh yeah, you can see it. My plexi is still up. I'm gonna take my plexi down and just clear my desk off. I'm gonna turn both lights around so that I can work that way. And then I'm gonna take you with me. Join the fun. Okay, I'm actually, uh, I'm running out of battery power. Okay, let's hurry. Um, I haven't quite decided how I'm going to do this yet. Like, I don't know if I'm going to dig out 12 colors because it's kind of broke up into 12 and 12. So I think I'm gonna dig out 12 colors and do 12 at a time. That way they don't get terribly confusing. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm really excited to get this done and then show you how it turned out. So, insert time-lapse footage. I mean, it's quick because I laid out the 12 bottles and you just slap on the polish. It doesn't matter what's what, like when doing swatches, I'm trying not to lose which one's which because I'm writing on the swatch stick, but doing it this way, it doesn't matter which one's which, they just are, you're putting them on the top of the bottle. So I have them lined up in a row and then like I have six and six lined up, six and six, putting it on, two coats. Some of them don't need two coats, I'm just using my own judgment. For example, one that is like super pigmented diamond emerald, that one almost never needs two coats. Uh, so top coat and then on to the next 12. But let's talk about what I had said earlier about cuticle oil. It is so important right now. This hand sanitizer is just killing people's hands, really killing people's hands. Uh, and it's killing their nails too. So if you have clients or if you are a client and if you are experiencing certain things, I really want you 
to really push cuticle oil on these clients. Sometimes the nail tech is getting blamed and it's not necessarily something that we're doing. Clients sometimes don't really understand that, or, or they don't really, it's not that they don't understand, uh, they, they don't really, haven't thought of the fact that, <laughs> words, that we are with their nails for one hour, one hour and a half, they are with their nails for three weeks, two weeks, four weeks. We can't always control what's happening to them for obvious reasons. People are cleaning more. They're cleaning more, maybe at home, maybe not, but they're almost definitely cleaning more at their job. They are using harsher chemicals, quite a few of them. People, when you ask them this, they will say, no, I'm not doing anything different. If they really think about it, a lot oftentimes they are. I mean, I would immediately say I'm not doing anything different. I'm totally doing things different. I'm in more cleaner. I'm in more, even just at work. So they're in more harsh chemicals. Of course, they're not wearing gloves every time they're in those chemicals. We'd like to think that we're going to, but we're not. I don't. Um, and their hands and nails are getting seriously dehydrated. So when they come back in and the nail is pulling away from the enhancement, I'm just gonna say the enhancement. I do acrylic, a lot of people do gel, it odds the difference. Even gel polish, if this is the case. Uh, if it's pulling away on the underside, curling under, generally right from the quick or right from the hyponychium out, that is dehydration. That is total dehydration. They need to use their oil and they need to use it often under the nail and around the cuticle. That being said, that might not be enough. Sometimes it isn't enough. I have clients that are using their cuticle oil faithfully and are still getting that pulling. There's really, other than removing the nail or filing up in, depending on how you like to use your cuticle bits. I have a great set of cuticle bits on my website right now. I, that's what I use. They're, they literally sit right here. I clean them and put them back in the case and I use them on pretty well every client. You really need to instruct them to use this cuticle oil. There's, there's not much else that you can do as their nail technician other than removing that entirely, which isn't always feasible because then you get into cost. So does the client want to pay the cost of a repair or do you want to absorb the cost of repair? Now, we've had a rough year. You can't absorb the cost of repairing that nail for every client or for even every other. Let's say if there's two nails or even one nail for every other client, you're absorbing that cost? No. You know, obviously you're not trying to upcharge every client that walks through your door, but you're also trying not to go behind in time because time is of the essence now for us, more so than it has ever been for money. I mean, you are here to pay your bills. This is your hobby, this is your passion, this is what you enjoy, but this also pays the groceries and the light bill. You need to make that judgment if you're going to replace those nails each and every time for that client. So a lot of clients are getting more lifting than they used to. This is the same thing. It is being in more water, being in more cleaner, and being more dehydrated. So if your client wants a why, why is this a thing? One easy way to explain and efficient way to explain, sorry, my chair is squeaking and I don't remember that ever happening before. Oh, I'm supposed to be working at the same time. So one way to explain to the client the reason behind all of this is kind of, if your nail is dry, if your nail is dehydrated, like a, a plant leaf, it curls in. Then when it gets any moisture, water cleaner, it fills back out because it has water. And then it dries out again, so it curls back in. Then you have your lifting and then moisture, and then not. So it's literally, you know, not that dramatically going back and forth that way, and then you have your lifting, and then you have your curling from underneath. But if you have your oil, if you're using your oil like you're supposed to efficiently, and uh, every single, 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 single day, multiple times a day, then you're not going to get that because it's going to be protected by that oil and it's going to be moisturized. It's going to be full of the nutrients that it needs and it's not doing that. 
So it's kind of like a breathing. That's a really great way to explain to clients. And oftentimes they're like, oh, that makes total sense. Especially if you talk about plant leaves. Everybody's into plants right now. Plants are a huge thing. And we've all seen a plant leaf curl up. It's a lot along the same lines. And making sure that your clients are using this cuticle oil is of course going to also save you time because of what we just talked about, fixing nails every single time. Uh, another reason for the cuticle oil is simply kind of a, uh, a reminder. It's a reminder to the client to look after the nail. It's a reminder for them to look and see what's happening. You know, they tend to, some clients get their nails done and then never really think of them again. You know, they never really take a look at what's going on. And if they're making a point to use their cuticle oil often, then they are likely going to make a point to take better care of them. Maybe they're going to, you know, since they've spent $10, $14, whatever on the cuticle oil, maybe they're going to take better care of them in the manner of wearing gloves when they're doing dishes or what have you. Perhaps they're gonna be like, oh geez, you know, I'm putting that cuticle oil on every day. I should really put a pair of gloves on. So there's multiple reasons for the cuticle oil and there's multiple things that it could fix. Because again, sorry my heat's running. Um, when it comes down to it, you're looking at time versus money. I feel like I'm rambling, but this is something that I'm seeing it all the time. I'm seeing it on myself for that matter, but I'm seeing it all the time on the nail forums, the nail pages, especially on Facebook and sometimes on people's like Instagram stories that their clients are having troubles that they never had before. And this is why hand sanitizer, mainly if you want to just call it one thing, let's just call it hand sanitizer. That is what the problem is right now. I rambled for 10 minutes. That's probably enough. Okay, so let's take a look. I just top coated the first 12, like the first set. So I'm gonna take a lint free wipe. I'm going to wipe the top, the top of each bottle to get the dust off of there, any oils that might be on there or any like little scuff marks. Cause some of my older polishes, of course, they're like messy. So if you guys have any questions about this cuticle oil talk, pop them down below. I don't mind answering them at all. You can also find me on Instagram under the same name and DM me. You can find me on TikTok under the same name. TikTok's really been fun. It's something I never thought I would get into. Yeah, cool. All right. Okay, let's move you so you can see this too. down below and also the link to my store with practice hands and some other cool things there's some other cool nail art things I hope you guys have a great week and if there's anything you'd really like to see for a video pop it down below message me on Instagram do your thing I want to hear from you okay bye